how did you stay so focused to get to that first seven figure? You know, it's, it's funny, but it's, it's my, I always remember my dad's little face. So I always remember like, I can't quit because of him. So every morning, like when I felt like quitting, I would remember when my dad took me to Beverly Hills, which was Bel Air, he corrected me. And he took me and I saw this mansion. We used to live in the ghetto where they used to shoot and sell drugs. And he painted houses in, in Bel Air and Beverly Hills. So he took me to a house and I saw that red Ferrari and that mansion. It was the Ferrari, the three, the 360, I think it's called, the 360, which is the old, the previous, previous, previous 458, uh, 488, which is the ones that I have now. I didn't know that though, but kids know what a exotic cars are. Kind of like a guy, when you see a hot girl, you, you're like, I know, you know that she's a hot girl. You know, everybody turns and looks. When kids see Ferraris or Lambos, they know what they are. Just, it's, it's just, they just know. Like kids are always like, they want me to like rev, rev the engine. So they know what they are. So I told my dad, how come, I, and I looked at my dad in the, in the eyes and I told him, dad, why don't we live here? Like everything is green, a lot of trees the homes are nicer in the car and then he told me that that wasn't for us you know minorities uh is hispanic uh, us hispanics we we have limited beliefs because we see all the successful people are this these typical uh, like perfect white men um those are the millionaires and the billionaires you know the donald trumps and these type of guys the grand cardones the tony robbins and that's how hispanics most of us grow grow up with that fear and limitation so i kids don't have limitations like berlin doesn't ask sil mommy 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 can you please give me some milk they're like like you know give me that tit and 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 she has to give it she has to give it up so like you like those kids are like that they believe anything they can achieve so my dad i told him i would never quit because he told me if as long as you don't quit and you work longer, harder than everybody else, you're gonna get there. So I promised my dad that. So when I lost everything, I just remembered I can't quit. And and to add to that really quick, I cut all the bullshit because what got me in trouble were the drugs, the parties, the women, and all that stuff. I separated from that environment and I started separating with better environment. I'm gonna drink with the billionaire. I'm gonna drink with people that make me better. I'm not just gonna drink with my buddies to watch a basketball, a basketball game. So I cut all that bullshit and I focused on improving every year.